So get clear on where you're at today in your business and where you're currently at in your career and ask yourself, is this where you want to be? And then I want you to ask yourself, what are your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations? And if money were no object, I want you guys to start to think big and bigger because if money were not an object, what would you do with your life? Like, where would you go? What would you buy? What would you provide for your family, for your kids? Um, you know, what is it if money were no object? What would you do for others? So make a list of all of the things, and you can do that in your Discover Your Why worksheet. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll email it out to you because it's an um, editable PDF, so you could like fill it in on the computer and save it. So I'll send an email to everybody. But when you write that list of everything you would do, pick the mo what's most important to you. Like what would not only change your life, but what would change your family's life, the life um, for the people that are around you and in your life? Think about what's the most important on that list. And then you want to ask yourself, why is that important to you? And get really, really, really clear. And so I'm going to show you in a minute what I finally found was important to me because I can tell you I would be one of those people that was like, well, I really don't know what my why is. Like, yeah, my why is to, you know, provide for my kids or my why is to, you know, not be in like debt or whatever. But it never got like really strong for me until I really figured out what exactly my why was. Um, so I want you to also, whatever it is, make it urgent, take action. Because here's the biggest thing. We always want to do so many things. We have an idea in our mind, and then we don't do it, right? And then we forget about it. And then something re reminds us, you know, a month, two months, a year later, and you're like, oh. So if we did everything that we wanted to do, where would we be, right? And one of the things that stops us is the analysis paralysis. It gets into our mind. Some people will call it the drunk monkey or whatever. But, you know, we start to, like, second guess ourselves, right? Speed of implementation is something that sticks in my mind. That is what separates the average people or the average business owners or the average, you know, whatever to the successful. It's the speed of implementation. It does not have to be perfect. Look at this class, right? I've never done anything. I've done classes before, but I've never had it videoed. Was it perfect? No. Are we going to perfect it next time? Yes. You know what I mean? So you just have to get out there and do things. It doesn't matter what happens. We're going to figure it out as we go. The speed of implementation is and I want you to start thinking big, because big thinking is going to be bring big goals. Big goals will bring big success, and you're going to fail falling forward, right? So this is a canvas that I have in my office at home, and this is my why. So this might mean totally different to you than it means to me, but it's not the money I'm after, it's freedom. And what I mean by that and what freedom means for me is I want to live in other countries. I want to travel the world. I want to be able to do that and have a life and have a job and have everything that I do support that because that's important to me. We only get one life, right? And it goes by so quick. My daughter's in eighth grade. I can't even believe it. Like, this is insane. So um, it goes by so quick. So what do you want to do in life, right? You don't want to wait another 5, 10, 15 years and realize, well, I wish I did this, I wish I did that.